Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, this is the second video on cost, revenues and profit. So we're going to start from where we left off. So we actually defined the value of total product. So we had, uh, we actually had, we actually defined what is total product and from there we define what is the marginal product and what is the, uh, you know, what is the marginal product and what is the average product, right? So let's carry on from the graph that we uh, discussed last time that was involving the total product and the quantity of variable factor and we had the total product to go something like this and we had our marginal we had our average product like this and we had our marginal product something like this right so this was the average product this was the marginal product now there is actually a law that you can uh, you know from that you can deduce from here is actually known as the law of diminishing returns right so this is the law that you can actually deduce from here that is the law of diminishing returns so what do you mean by the law of diminishing returns so as you can clearly see here as the quantity of variable factor increases so as the quantity of the variable factor increases uh, the average product and the marginal product they increase to a certain level they become maximum and after that they tend to decrease isn't it right so that is what the law of uh, you know diminishing marginal returns is well it's actually there are two laws in here so the first law is the law uh, is there are not two laws actually two hypotheses here I'm sorry so the first hypothesis is the hypothesis so first hypothesis is the hypothesis of eventually, so no matter what happens, eventually uh, diminishing marginal returns. So diminishing marginal returns. So what's, what, do you, what do you mean by this? That actually means that as, so it's returns. So that actually means that as the extra units of variable factors are added, as you increase uh, the 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 quantity of variable factor the uh, you know you know given to a fixed factor because the fixed factor will actually remain constant right the output from each additional unit of the variable factor will eventually diminish so the output for output from each additional unit so that's what you know uh, marginal means each additional unit uh, of the variable factor will eventually diminish so of the variable factor will eventually diminish so I suppose you're understanding what I'm trying to say over here right so that is the hypothesis of eventually diminishing marginal returns so you got another hypothesis as well so what is that hypothesis it says the, it is the hypothesis of so hypothesis of eventually diminishing so it's eventually diminishing average returns so that's another which is uh, you know an, another factor that it says that as you increase your quantity of the variable factor the output per unit so the output per unit of the variable factor will eventually diminish so of the variable factor, so the output per unit of the variable factor will eventually diminish, right? So it will eventually, writing it down so that, you know, there's no problem there. You understand it very slowly and not too fast, right? So hypothesis of eventually diminishing marginal uh, average returns means as you increase the quantity of the variable factor, the output per unit of the variable factors will eventually diminish as it is happening here. It's actually the graphs are going down towards the end, which means they are eventually diminishing, right? So we're going to take an example here, right? So let's, you know, let's just take an example. So what happens is, uh, you know, that actually we, you can actually use the table that we used in the previous uh, in, the, in the previous uh, video that will actually serve as an example as well but what we can do is we can actually take an example so let's suppose uh, I'm actually uh, I have I have the labor right I have no people hired right now so the total product is going to be zero as soon as I have one person you know my output becomes let's say 10 I hire two people let's suppose it becomes 25 
I had three people, I had four people, let's say five, six, seven, eight, and uh, my uh, my output, my total output just keeps on increasing, keeps on increasing, keeps on increasing, keeps on increasing, and keeps on increasing. Now let's actually try to find out what is the average product. So average product is the total product divided by the, the quantity of the variable factor involved. So we're not going to ca calculate for here. It's going to be 10, 12.5, that is 25 by 2. 45 by 3 is 15, 70 by 4 it's uh, 70.5, then you have 18, uh, then you have 70.5 again, then you have 16.4 and then 15. So you can clearly see that the average product is, you know, the average product is increasing, it reaches its maximum value right here and after that it starts to diminish. And same happens with the marginal product as well which is the change in the total product divided by the change in the variable factor. Right. So if you try to find that, you know, if I try to find that it's 10 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. So it's 10 and we have 15, we have 20 for the next term is 25, then it's 20, then it's 15, then it's 10, then it's 5. Now you can calculate that for yourself. We you can clearly see here as the marginal product increase, as the quantity of labor employed increases, the marginal product reaches its maximum value and after that it eventually diminishes. Right. So suppose you're understanding this point over here and uh, so this would be about this video guys. So thank you very much for watching this video and in the next video we're going to be talking about the costs involved. right? So just make sure that you explore this web website that is perfect-scores.com and don't forget to give us your valuable like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and if there's any feedback you can always give us the feedback here. So thank you very much for watching this video guys. I'll see you in the next one.